it's I don't know what it's doing, but it's it's always like this. <laughs> That's all right. Oh yeah, yeah. I like the banner thing that comes across. That's quite good, isn't it? Mm, the crawler, yeah. The crawler. Mm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, and here we are. It's eleven o'clock in the UK, noon in Malta. But whatever time it is, wherever you are, it's always a pleasure to have you, Ella, with me here on this live broadcast. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you, Bernie. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. Oh, always a pleasure. And obviously, if we're seeing Ella over here, it's obvious that we are going to be talking about all things Lead 5050. Correct. So how are you guys doing? How are you ladies doing? And what's Lead 5050 been up to these past few months? Well, we've had um, a really strong start to the year. We've got some uh, new people on board and we have developed our software. We did start out with um, looking at gender equality and focusing on that. And we're slightly broadening that. Okay. And we've got exciting plans in the pipeline. That's something we've been working on. I won't, I won't reveal it yet. <laughs> busy working behind the scenes to give our customers more more data more insights and to help them balance their workplace uh more efficiently really mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and obviously we are here today to talk about something else that is exciting and something else that is always exciting in our industry because really and truly lead 50 50 apart from obviously all the work that you do like you said for gender quality is also synonymous with the awards. I mean, let's face it, we all like a little bit of glam. We all like to dress up. So the awards are something we all look forward to. And just today, the tickets for the awards are coming out, right? Yes, yes. So they'll be on sale. We've got an early bird on that. Um, and we are going live in real life on the 2nd of November in Berlin. That's a Saturday night. As usual, we're going to be upstairs in the Hugo restaurant. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to be celebrating all the great and the good, all the, all the good work that people are doing, not just related to sales um, and the, the commercial side of the industry, which is also very important, but the, you know, the, the good work that people are doing and to, to, to hold them up as an example and celebrate that often people who are doing it without any, look, any, you know, any recognition at all. Exactly. And in fact, as you said, people uh, are celebrated during these awards. And this comes out very clearly in the categories that are obviously people are going to be nominated for. Um, I know because we were talking earlier that you are going to have a new category this year. Mm -hmm. what's, mm -hmm. what's that going to be? And can you tell us a little bit about it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. So we've got, um, I'm just going to get them up because there's, there's quite a few of them. We've mm -hmm. got usual categories um unsung hero very popular uh gives lots of people an opportunity to to get their name out there inspirational woman of the year or one of the big ones as yeah. well as um lifetime achievement i love those two we've had some real big hitters uh come mm -hmm. through on that um contribution to gender diversity uh champion of change that's people who've mm -hmm. really celebrated doesn't have to be um, a man, a woman or a man, um, but people who are recognizing and advocating for others. That's a champion of change. We've got rising star for the younger people among the us. younger people. <laughs> this is one that always makes me feel a little bit sad because, you know, I see all the new people coming up and I go, hmm, that used yeah, to be time me. is passing. <laughs> isn't it isn't it i know and you think you look around you think i thought i used to be i used to be one of the <laughs> you. and now exactly. i think god i'm like one of the grannies now yes oh my goodness yes 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 but that's a good sign that's a good sign we're still I love, around i love to see the young ones coming through um yeah. outstanding it's nice to see sorry to stop you but as you said it's nice to see how from year to year like you you look at the people who won the rising star last year for example and it's for me it's always interesting to see what they've achieved in the year after they've won the award so to see that they've continued growing 
Well, I can't. That's an excellent point. You know, this these awards really do help because you can self nominate. You know, you don't have to wait to be nominated. It's not like we have to wait to be us to be married. You know, <laughs> self forward, and um, we don't need anyone's permission. It really is great for your profile and your career to do this. You know, we've had Juliana Bonvini has been uh, an award winner. Lucinda Lately, Nicola Lutz. You know, all these people. Mm -hmm. Um, it just helps with your your profile, exactly. you know. Juliana, especially, she's been someone who I've always um, loved to see how she's becoming so successful in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, real rising star. Mm -hmm. She in a few years she'll be like us. She'll be going. Oh my exactly, God. exactly, exactly. I remember Nicoletta from Garden Beat, Nicoletta Pinto, winning that exactly. award as well a few years ago. I mean, look at her today so it's it's for me it's so nice to see you know these these women who started out perhaps like us with a dream in the industry many years ago and it's nice to see that there are people because sometimes i mean apart from the theme the feminine the feminist side of things mm -hmm. it, sometimes one of the things business owners complain about is the fact that the younger generation is not as passionate as we used to be but look at these people i mean this is mm. perhaps an answer also to people who think that yeah. you know there's this discrepancy between young and old experience not so experienced no there are young people who are passionate as well mm -hmm. yeah and it's a very clever strategic move if you want to raise your profile to nominate yourself for this award, you know, and if you get on the shortlist, even on the shortlist, it's absolutely excellent for you. Mm -hmm. So we've got, um, yeah, Rising Star, love that one. Charitable Endeavour of the Year. And then the new one, here we go, Cultural Bridge Builder. So yes. this is awarded to an organisation or individual who's shown exemplary dedication to building cultural bridges in the realm of international student recruitment. So this is like cross, anyone who's, implemented programs that facilitate cross-cultural understanding, promoting diversity and inclusion, and fostering a sense of belonging among students from diverse backgrounds. So I think that could be a really interesting category for companies out there who are doing things. You and know? is it, sorry to stop you, no, Ella, no. but I started getting questions as you're talking. Is this nomination for a person or for a company? Both. It can be both. Okay. But if some companies will have like a, a project where they're, okay. you know, helping some kind of sponsorship, things like that, 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 that they don't, you know, when it's not totally um, known by everyone. This is a chance to shine a light on all that good work, the giving back. And I mean, our industry is all about that, isn't it? It's about mm -hmm. breaking down barriers and understanding and learning to speak each other's languages it's it's so fantastic in that respect and this is a real celebration of that okay and apart from apart from this new one um have we gone through all of the of the normal ones i think there are still a few there's left a more yeah. there's women in tech that's mm, always a good yes uh and then mentor of the year that was that was Nicola yes. Lutz, wasn't it? Mentor of yes. the year. Yes, Person yes. of any gender who's gone the extra mile as a mentor of women over the past year. Um, willingness to volunteer their time to supporting one or more new or growing organisations and or supporting one or more individuals in their chosen career. So inspiring and dedicated to diversity and inclusion. So that's a, that's a nice a nice category as well. We've had some great yeah. people go through that one. Um I really, did I mention Unsung Heroes great yes, as well? Yes, yes, we've, yes. All, we've all seen those people. Um, What's the difference women? between mentor and unsung hero? In well, the, a mentor the is someone who has, you know, actually mentored women and, mm -hmm, and, and mm -hmm. done that. But an unsung hero is, I was going to, you know, is those people who we all know who work and, and make significant contributions above and beyond their position in an organisation, but then they're, they're never really recognised. Mm, Maybe fine. they're not in a, a kind of a, a, a glamorous role. You know, mm. they're not in a role. Mm -hmm. They're not the type of person to shout about how great they are all the time. Yeah. You, know, you know, there's always those people who keep everything going. They're steady. Um, and they just don't maybe don't get recognized. That yes. is a really excellent category because that's what really the awards are about. They're about celebrating 
not just people who are outwardly successful, but looking deeper and seeing where the changes are being made. Exactly. So as usual, I mean, these awards are an opportunity to celebrate not just women in the industry. It's always amazing to celebrate women in our industry, the contribution that women make to the industry and to the workplace in general. But I think it's important also to clarify, because perhaps it could be a misunderstanding out there that people tend to think that Lead 5050 is all about women. No, it's also all about celebrating those people who support mm. women in their roles. I'm, I'm yes. right, yeah, I'm saying that, yes. 100%. This isn't just for women. No, this is for men as well. So, you know, a champion of change would be a, a male ally, could be a male ally who speaks up, you know, and or maybe has implemented maybe a men's network, something in su support of women in their business. You know, it's it's exactly. difficult sometimes for men to be allies, I think, you know, they they don't know how there's not a lot of modeling out there so mm -hmm. that category is to say look this is what other men are doing and you know it's inspirational for others to do it and i can understand there's a lot of pressure on men to um speak up or do something and maybe they don't yeah. know what to do so this is an this is a celebration of those who do so mm -hmm. mm -hmm. their profile mm -hmm. again best practice modeling exactly examples of what to do and how to do it and in fact whenever we are at the, the awards obviously we we attend the awards as well it's not just women who are there it's you know it's it's a nice industry celebration that focuses on a different you know focuses on the industry from a different angle yeah, i think yeah. at the end of the day that's that's all it is that's great well we definitely look forward to these awards. But before we conclude today, Ella, those people who would like to nominate or self-nominate for these awards, what do they have to do? And how long do they have to do it? Well, the award, the deadline is the 28th of June. So there's a bit of time, but you do have to gather some information. So it is actually best to start um start as soon as you can if you mm -hmm. go onto our website and you go into events you'll see there's a um, drop down box for nominations which are okay. open it's that simple it's a form online and you can put all your information in there you just choose the category it's got all the all the um prerequisites in there and um yeah take it from there very good and like we said for for the majority of the of the um, categories people mm -hmm. can either nominate themselves or somebody who has inspired them over the years yes, yes please nominate yourself we love self nominations so we think <laughs> oh. they're so good we like they're inspirational exactly and what's you know there's nothing wrong with actually celebrating yourself mm -hmm. so why not go ahead and do it so, you should nominate yourself. Oh gosh, which one? Yes, one of the one of the old yeah. ones now. <laughs> one of the old... be up for lifetime achievement. Oh gosh, yes. Now, I, I hope I can do that in a few years' time. Yeah. I hope I still have a few woman. years left. Sorry. Inspirational woman. Inspirational. Yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. Oh, Look what you've achieved and how you know your profile and everything. It's brilliant. Yeah, well, this is, this is, let's turn the spotlight back onto you, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm very good at doing things from this side, but uh, yeah. I've noticed. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Ella, my gosh, now I'm totally embarrassed. <laughs> um, so let's regroup, but always happy to support these yeah. events and to support your organization, not only because obviously Schools and Agents is an organization that is made up only of women, uh, yeah. but also because we really do recognize what women can bring to the table once they are given the opportunity and once they are given the chance to say what they have to say. So that is why we are huge believers in what you guys are doing. And that is why we are so proud 
to be collaborating with you on this. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Always supportive. And it's wonderful to work with you and see you at the awards. And get oh, nominated, sure. Bernice. <laughs> no, 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 I'll definitely nominate. I'm not sure I'll nominate myself, but I'll definitely nominate. Um, Ella, before you go, I just want to remind the people who are watching us over here that we will definitely, before the awards, have other live broadcasts with you. And I propose, as I was telling you before we actually, uh, before we actually went live, to do another live in the week when the nominations are about to close. So like that, you know, yeah. we can start to perhaps gossip a little bit and yeah. at the same time also push those people who would have left it to the last minute. Yes. So yeah. my next appointment with you is possibly for, you know, two months time. So in about yeah. seven to eight weeks, I'll see you again online and then definitely, hopefully if nothing happens, see you in Berlin in November. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Take care, Ella. Always a pleasure. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, we're done.